Hey guys, Zor here from ZorGameGeek.com. Today talking to you about the Gumshoe uh, setting and its original rule book, The Esoterrorists. If you want to learn more about The Esoterrorists, please go to ZorGameGeek.com slash Esoterror. E-S-O-T-E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. All right, today we're going to be talking about the Outer Dark, the Outer Dark Entities and the Membrane. All right, so in the world of The Esoterrorists, there is our reality, which I like to call causal reality, where there is a cause and there is effect. And you can, if you know the effect, you can figure out the cause. And if you know the cause, you can figure out the effect. The world is rational. Physics matter. Science matters. Now, I know that that might be a controversial statement these days in our world of not wanting to wear masks, of our world where you don't want a vaccine, and if you are an anti-vaxxer and an anti-masker, well, God bless. Just don't infect the rest of us. Okay, so in the world of the esoterrorists, we have this world of the rational, the world of the causal, the world of cause and effect. And then we have the outer dark. The outer dark is a world of irrationality, a world of chaos, a world of a causality. Where and, and in the esoterrorist books, esoterrorist books, they use the idea of the yin and yang symbol, where you have the, I think of them as fish, but you have a dot in the middle of the other one, the essence, all right? So in this world, we have some things that are unexplainable, or at least not that we've explained yet. Uh, I am a spiritual person, Christian person, so I believe that there are things that can happen in this world that cannot necessarily be defined or understood purely by the laws of physics. On the other side, in the outer dark, we have chaos and irrationality and within it a nugget of reality. And so that world, which in the game, you're unlikely, at least in the rule book as written, you don't go into that world. The things there come to you. You are going to be, that can be a fun time for you if you go into their world. But they use irrational belief, their own sort of, I believe this to be true, therefore it is that these outer dark entities or ODEs are able to, through their own force of will and belief, extend this bubble of reality, a reality, a causality, and that is maybe what magic is. This idea that with your mind, with your belief, with whatever it is, you can cause something to happen that physics can't explain because you are bringing in the energies, the chaos of the outer dark into this world and harnessing it. Now, it's important to note that the book is very clear that magic, true magic, except for some, maybe some mild ESP type of of events that magic can't happen or not can't happen hasn't happened that the veil between our world and that world is still thick enough that we as humans cannot directly harness that energies and create magical effects but that is what the esoterrorists are trying to do they're trying to access that world and get that magic and power and the outer dark entities are these tempters, these promisers, that if you just let us through, if you punch a hole uh, uh, big enough, we can come through and we can teach you, we can show you. Please let us in. Please do these acts that are going to thin that wall, and that's called the membrane. The membrane is this thing that separates our world from their world, and it's thinning. And acts of esoterror, irrationality, of true horrible events, <clears throat> mass murders, uh, suicides, ritual killings, uh, other sort of major transgressive events can punch a hole through that membrane and allow the cultists, the esoterrorists, to access an outer dark, outer dark entity, to summon that outer dark entity into our world. But that summoning itself 
can be a problem because that entity is going from a world where it is essentially a will and a mind. It's id, an ego, and now it, and without necessarily physical form, or it can define for itself its own physical form within the outer dark. But now here it has to maintain a physical form. And so the practitioners of esoterists, of these occult uh, uh, practices, have to then fully conceive of this organic being and have it be fully functioning in this world for it to be able to exist and act. And failure to do so may result in it exploding, in it dying and doing all sorts of things. And that's why there are categories of outer dark entities, certain known outer dark entities, because the summoning, somebody has envisioned it and created this ritual by which they can bring forth specific types of outer dark entities. And they've written that down, and that somehow gets passed around from uh, cult to cult. And then if they do that ritual and they follow it exactly, then they have a successful summoning of an outer dark entity. Your job in the esoterists, as investigators, as agents of the Ordo Veritatis, the Order of Truth, is to come in and stop these outer dark entities, to kill these outer, outer dark entities. But they're not so easy to kill. Like vampires, they have specific banes or special means of dispatch, SMDs, where, and it has to do something with their creation because there's certain types that have certain affinities and that creation also is their bane. And you have to figure out what that special means of dispatch is for that outer dark entity who's influencing life around that cult and dispatch it. However, because murder, death, irrationality are ways that the membrane is thinned, you as members of the Ordo Veritatis have a code of ethics and you are not allowed to needlessly kill people. You're not allowed to torture them. You're not allowed to do those things which thin the membrane, that spread irrationality, that spread fear, that spread all the sort of things that get spread right now on social media. Esoterrorists? Maybe. Is Mark Zuckerberg is esoterrorists? Or has he just been co-opted? That could be your campaign arc. That's the nice thing about the esoterrorist rule book is you literally can rip... Um, rip them from the headlines and uh, uh, your, your plot summaries and run wild with them. Crazy stories, things that seem off the wall, and you find the esoterrorist plot in the middle of it. All right, guys, that's esoterrorists. If you want to learn more about this campaign setting and rule system, go to zorgamegeek.com slash esoterror. That's zorgamegeek.com slash E-S-O-T-E-R-R-O-R. -R -R -R. Link below. Please like and subscribe. All right, guys, keep gaming.